Welcome to Play in School TV, Episode 7. I'm Rich Prado. On today's episode, we're going to talk about the culture at billion dollar companies and how that can affect your baseball team. In today's episode, I want to talk about a couple little companies, a couple of little billion dollar companies with a B. Everybody in the world's heard of Amazon.com. They acquired another billion dollar company a few years ago named Zappos. Years ago, Zappos implemented a policy where they would pay an employee up to $5,000 to quit. We're talking about a billion dollar company that was later purchased by Amazon, also a billion dollar company. Amazon thought the policy was so strong, they now implemented the same policy. I'll say it one more time, Amazon and Zappos will now pay employees up to $5,000 to quit. Why are they doing this? Having an employee come to work every single day that is not 100% bought in, that is not 100% in love with the work they are doing is going to be a drain on the organization. It is going to bring that company down. It is going to infect everybody around them in the most negative way. So these two companies have decided instead of having a cancer that spreads amongst its people, we'll just pay them to leave. It's going to be better for that individual. It's going to be better for the company as a whole. So the people that end up sticking around are all bought in, 100% bought in in okay but I'm a baseball guy how does this relate to baseball your team culture your team chemistry is all you have without it you're sunk a team with lesser players and better culture better chemistry has a much better chance of playing deeper and longer and win championships than a team full of talented individuals with no culture and no team chemistry. That leads me to why I'm standing with the diamond in the background of this shot. I came over a few weeks ago and watched VCU practice. It was the week of Halloween. I saw a tweet come out that they were going to be doing their Halloween costume workout. So I hustled on over. Uh, got to watch that. It was a lot of fun. While I was sitting in the stands, Coach, uh, Coach Stifler, a buddy of mine, came over and we talked. I, I asked him about this. Why, why are we doing these things at, across, the, uh, across the board? All the colleges are doing these types of things. It's all about creating team, growing the culture, and creating chemistry. Just yesterday, uh, VCU finished up what they call their Ram Sanity pretty popular thing across the board with college baseball. You'll see it on social media. I'll play some video up here so you can see what theirs looked like. And Coach Stifler had a great comment about this. The Ram Sanity is not done to make players stronger. Okay, It's not about that. It's done so that their team grows stronger as a unit, has a better chemistry, and a, and a tight, tight-knit group. Okay, so it, is this stuff important? Everybody seems to be doing it, but is it working for everybody? Are teams across the country buying in or are they doing the Omaha challenges and things like that just to get strong? There's a big difference between just going out and having fun and growing together as a team. Let's rewind to February of 2015 and I wanna see one person's brackets that show VCU in a super regional okay what an amazing year they had they were two wins away from Omaha eight teams go to Omaha eight teams were two two wins or less away if it's not for one bad bounce VCU takes a one nothing lead in the super regional so you tell me does culture help does a strong chemistry help are these things important and what are you doing as a coach, what are you doing as a player to grow the culture of your organization, to create a stronger bond with your players and your teammates? 
I want to give a shout out to Richmond Baseball Academy West. I just left there random Thursday afternoon. You got a big leaguer and, a, and another pro ball player uh, taking cuts in there. Coach Garrity does a great job. You can pop in there almost any time uh, during the winter and see pro ball players and uh, college ball players on Christmas break working out. I'll put some video of their brand new facility. The place is absolutely gorgeous. Their official grand opening will be in a couple weeks. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll post up some video from that as well. What's up? I'm Ben Verlander with the Detroit Tigers. Chris Garrity, RBA West. John Hicks, Minnesota Twins. Guys, I'd love for you to comment below. Talk to me about what are some of the things your teams, your teammates are doing to improve the team chemistry in culture. Just comment below uh, here on YouTube. Follow me across all social media at Play in School. I'm probably most active on Twitter, um, but I'd love to catch up with you either in the comments here on YouTube or Facebook. Thanks a lot.